We are in Red Mountain AVA. If you're not familiar with what the term AVA means, it's American Viticultural Area. It's a federal designation for a piece of air, uh, uh, an area where the grapes are grown in a very specific way. We are um, sit like Russian dolls. So Red Mountain AVA sits inside of Yakima Valley, which sits inside of Columbia Valley, just to give you some context of where you are. When you look up here, this is one of the most beautiful, Mr. Gallus was pointing out, this is his favorite view as you're looking out here. This is a beautiful sea of vines. This is one of the more unusual AVAs in the state of Washington because before grapes were planted here, nothing was planted here. This was barren, nothing up here. So the pioneers came up here and what they found is that the soil up here is, and, and as you're walking around today, ask questions about soil because everybody here loves to talk about the toa. There's a very interesting mix of fine sand, of gravel, and a lot of calcium carbonate. As you're walking through, notice on the rocks, you'll see deposits of white. It kind of looks like concrete, like it's leftover builder supplies. This is actually one of the things that creates these exquisite fruit that you have on Red Mountain. But our philosophy behind planting the varieties that we have done was we would just plant the varieties that we wanted to drink if we had to make wine. Luckily, we've never had to make wine. We've always been able to sell all of our fruits. Both my dad and Jim Holmes, who was our partner at the time, were scientists, engineers, whatever. And they realized that we're actually at a pretty northerly latitude. And so they were doing sun, ang sun angles, and, and that's part of the decision to plant the rows narrower than normal convention because they said, well, the sun's really high in the sky, and and at you know 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you're still getting sunshine on the ground eight feet away, so why plant them any wider than that? You're just wasting ground. So, as I mentioned, they didn't have specialized equipment at that time, and so Dad and Jim looked through, there was no Craigslist then, but <laughs> somewhere they found a John Deere M tractor. You guys, the people who named this, and it wasn't me, had high school French, <laughs> and they were trying to name the Horse Seven Hills, which is that, those guys right behind you, that's the Horse Seven Hills. So they said CL, and they thought that meant heaven, and Cheval, of course, means horse. Mm -hmm. But when the French people come by and they tell them that, they kind of giggle. At them, you know? mm -hmm. It really means something like sky horse. <laughs> or as one Frenchman said, one sky horse. <laughs> so don't be surprised if someday you see a bottle of wine on this shelf and it's labeled one sky horse, <laughs> and you'll know how that came about. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm Jim Holmes. My wife and I uh, own this place. And by ownership, really, all that means. The other one. Is we're, now we're going to get into real grape growing. We've been here since 2006. I work with my uncle Keith Hedges. My brother Christoph Hedges is head of national sales. So it's a true family family winery. Um, can be fun most of the time. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> not so much. It's dirt. Yeah. Um, Hedges produces about 120,000 cases a year. Um, our main brand is the CMS Red, which you guys have probably seen talk about. Um, the Hedges label, which is all estate grown and bottled, is about 10 to 12,000 cases. 